The Alliance of Citizens for Change are launching the election manifesto here in Cape Town, in the Western Cape today. I'm joined now by its leader, Mrs. Zolim Kasela. A very warm good day to you, sir. Um, you know, we, we've heard from your party since its launch in uh, July last year. Um, the concept of social justice has been a big, um, shall we call a rallying cry for your party. So when you launch your election manifesto today, can you just outline for us, um, you know, the salient points that you are speaking to the people of South Africa, of the Western Cape today. Yes. Thanks, Vanessa. You know, South Africa has reached a point where we can't do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. So social justice became the only imperative that will help us in this trajectory to transform both the social and the material conditions of our people. And us achieving that is probably the only thing that South Africans are waiting for. Given the joblessness, given the crime, hunger, poverty, and violence that we are seeing in our society. So we will be crafting on the trajectory of social justice because that is the change that South Africans are looking for. All of us in South Africa are crying about crime, we are crying about uh, violent crimes matter in particular. So you will hear from us here that we've got a, a particular approach of the clusters of policy interventions as key areas of interventions. Because if you want to govern, you need to get the basics right. One of those is to ensure that there's policing. One of those is to ensure that there's successful prosecution once people have, once criminals have been arrived, have been arrested. But you also need to get education right. You also need to intervene at a very personal level through the social, um, uh, social grants and related interventions. And over and above that we've got, we, we are very much endowed with minerals, raw materials as a country, one of the richest countries in the world. But we are not using that productively. So you are going to hear a lot of that in our interventions in terms of the, the kind of direction that we are proposing as ACC. But equally, we can't pretend that South Africa as a country have done well in so far as protecting women and children. So you are also going to hear something about that. Let, let, let me bring that in, um, because some of the boards behind us, I see, um, you know, are talking about um, the exporting of raw materials. I see um, a downscaling, for example, of cabinet members to only 10. And then I also see, um, you know, people are calling um, uh, once again for free education. These are all concepts that you will be speaking about in your, in your election manifesto. Just very briefly, Kwa. The, these are all the concepts that I will be articulating. And collectively, you'll also hear from some of the speakers who are leaders in the different regions. But of course, uh, the whole concept of social justice underpinned by the principles and the seven core values that define who we are as an organization. So we will be touching on all of that, but equally to look at what has gone wrong since 1994. Why do we see political parties like ACC? What has happened? That says people have had enough because the direction of the country is no longer the one that they hoped for in 1994. And this is the historic venue where we are. That 33 years later, since the release of Mandela, we're sitting with far worse problems at the social level, at the political level, at the criminal justice level, which we need to deal with. Hence, the agenda of social justice is more imperative now more than ever. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Of course, the, the leader of the ACC, Masizole Mkrasela, uh, just ahead of his party's election manifesto launch here uh, in Cape Town outside the City Hall uh, that's taking place this afternoon.